Okay, to get started, I just added a video to my timeline that I like to add my text reveal to. So first, let's add some text to it by selecting the text tool, then click anywhere in the preview and type your text. Now for the next step, go up to Window, Essential Graphics. In here, you can style your text as you want. Just be aware that you can't just start changing things like the size of the text without first highlighting your text in the preview. What's particularly relevant for our title reveal is these buttons up here that allow you to align your text in the center of the frame. Okay, next let's start working on hiding our text. So select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and then use that tool to draw a rectangle around your text. Then back in the essential graphics panel at the very bottom, check the mask with shape option. This is brand new to the 2023 version, so you won't see it in the older versions. Okay, moving on, let's go over to effect controls and open up our text settings. Then scroll down to the transform settings for the text. Here we'll be focusing on the second position's value, which controls the vertical movement of our text. So drag that value to the side until your text is hidden. Then you'll need to click the stopwatch next to position to create a starting keyframe for the animation. Now let's animate its reveal by repositioning the playhead to a bit later on. And then drag that position value to the side the other way to reveal it. Doing this will automatically create that second keyframe. All right, if we play this back now, we'll have our text reveal. To change the speed of your reveal, just drag the second keyframe closer or further from the first one. If you're having a hard time seeing your keyframes, I would just trim the text clip to zoom in on them. Just don't trim it too much or you'll cut off your keyframes. Finally, to smooth out the animation, drag to select both keyframes, then right click one of them and hover over temporal interpolation. There's a few options here, but I usually use ease in since it's simple and usually looks good. Okay, and that looks a lot more professional to me now, so that's all for me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.